Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Cold Augur here, aka the Suburban Ginger. I want to welcome you back to another exciting video of the Golf Club 2019 featuring the PGA Tour. And as you can see, the Suburban Ginger is well on his way to taking his next step on the road to the PGA Tour, moving through the web.com tour, or the Corn Ferry Tour as they call it now, but he is halfway through the third round of the East Coast Classic and he has a commanding nine shot lead. So let's jump right in. Well, before we do that, you guys know what to do. If you've been here before, make sure you leave your thumbs up. Show me the likes, show me the comments, show me that you hit that subscription button, which is actually over there in the bottom right corner, so you guys can follow along for all the sweet golf action, whether in the digital world or in the real world, because you know I play as well. But we're going to jump right in, guys. Hole number 10 to kick off the back nine of the third round of the East Coast Classic. And let's see what the 10th has in store. Yes, John, let's see. It is a par four. It is 400 yards long. The Suburban Ginger is taking driver. The Suburban Ginger is hooking the driver. <laughs> Look out, people. Oh, dear. He's in the native area. The branch is here on this one. He's probably not too pleased with himself after that one. You're right about that, John. It's not his best moment, is it? He's going to have to go with the old punch shot. Hit the old little four iron punch, I think is the best thing to do. Just please don't hit it in the stuff. Oh, he's going through the, through the branches here. Okay, he's kind of squirted it back out onto the fairway. May end up in the first cut. There it is. Okay, take your medicine. Now he's got a little flop shot to get to this back hole location. That one's come out a little bit hot. We're gonna have a decently longish putt for par. And to save the par. 12 footer, 13 footer downhill, just outside the right edge. Put a good stroke on it. What a save. And a nice putt. What a save from the young American. And currently sitting at three under for the day after that one. I'm sure he's relieved. That'll feel like a very, very uh, fortunate par save there on 10. And just about to uh, tee off on this par three. And this par three, the 11th hole, is a massive, long par three. The pin sits on a back shelf. You really gotta judge your distance as well to hit this close. All good going with a hybrid. It looks like the uh, hybrid and is on the screen. Started it left, moving that way, and it comes to rest in the fairway left of the green. Well, that was an unfortunate approach, and that's weird because he's been doing pretty well with uh, his greens and regulation today this round. Yeah, been a little bit loose off the tee, but pretty good besides. Ah, pulled the string nicely on that one. This one's about six feet away. Six footed for another par save. Ooh, that was Shooter good. can't believe it! That was very close. Pulled it just a touch, and he will suffer a bogey. And this for the bogey. Mm. Nice little pot. Unforced error there. And he will stay right where he is on the leaderboard after that hole. And now teeing off on this par four. After that bogey, this is not the easiest hole to come to. This is a big par four, moving generally right to left. Let's put a very it solid swing on that one, though. Fairway here. Looks to be in the fairway. Very nice. Still a long second shot, though. And from here, about 210 yards to the pin. 
Pins back. Course is playing long today. 210 yards, but downhill. All good electing to go with a 4-iron, trying to chase it back toward the flag. That one's come out pretty well. Very solid, sensible shot there. And pretty sure he's going to like that. From here, about 21 feet. Outside chance for birdie. Putt moving uphill, generally right to left. I think a four is a good score here. Okay, well done. Now we will take a look at the leaderboard. And he's still at the top of the leaderboard after that one. Yeah, holding steady. Two under on the day. Still eight shots clear of Shelton. Drew Weaver, the closest player on the course, just finishing up 12 as well. Only even par on the day and seven under for the tournament. All right, let's see what uh, happens on the 13th hole here. But a little quick this with the drive again. Looking like it's finding the fairway. But I think he'll get away with it. But maybe just the first cut. And uh, sorry to mislead uh, you folks, but I did not see that going into the rough. Just overcooked it a touch there. Getting out of the first cut here. All good going with pitching wedge. And that one's come out pretty well come out very well pretty solid shot running away from him just a bit this is about 20 feet away another right to left putt here 20 footer for birdie it's on a good line oh oh and wouldn't that have been nice just just didn't drop. Not quite. And tapping it in for the par. Good par. Good par. And sitting at two under four of the day. You know, John, that's really all he needs to do. I don't anticipate any of these players catching him. He's going to have to come back to the pack a little bit to give him a chance. And setting up now on the 14th tee. 14, another big par four. Also moving from right to left. Plenty of room out there, all good with driver. With a solid swing. And I think he's gonna like that. And about 200 yards to the pin. 200 yards out, also playing downhill on the approach. Pins in a relatively flat position, so judging the distance right, you should end up pretty close. All good going with five iron. That looks like a uh, five iron. Just trying to chase it back there as long as it clears the bunker, which it does. And that's a very nice shot. All right, and he's on the green now. And this for the birdie. This one a 12-footer. Uphill, right to left. Can be a little aggressive, though. Beautiful. And finishing the hole with a solid putt. That hole's not giving up too many birdies today. And as we check the standings, he's still holding down first place. After Back up point. to a nine-shot lead. Just on another level right now. And moving on to the 15th hole. All good trying to find the fairway here on this shortish par four with the three wood. Generally more accurate sure with the three wood than the driver. The here. And he's in a good spot. Nice. 
135 yards to the pin. And pins middle-ish. All good with... I'm going to go pretty hard at a pitching wedge here. Going with a pitching wedge here. And the shot's looking pretty good. Going right at the flag. Oh, aggressive. Very nice. And with that, he is on the dance floor. And about that hole six is feet to go here. Six feet, left edge for birdie. And that'll drop the birdie. He does it again. Another one. And after that one, uh, four under is the score for the day. Ten shots clear of the nearest competitor, Robbie Shelton. And now setting up on the 16th tee. You know, ladies and gentlemen, it's not often you see a performance like this. I'm sure one day you'll be telling your grandchildren where you were when you when you saw this man. <laughs> when you saw him dominate the East Coast Classic. Going with the nine iron. And there he is, another green. <laughs> dominate the and East Coast nothing Classic. nothing wrong with that shot. <laughs> and this putt is for birdie. Okay, downhill slider for birdie. Ooh. So close. And this one's about four feet from the cup. As Frankie Valley said, so close and yet so far. And a nice putt. Couple more holes to play here. And he's sticking to the same position he was at uh, after that hole. Two to go. Okay, and setting up on the 17th tee. Here we go, hole 17. Shortish par four. Hard dog leg left. All good, with three wood. This one's looking pretty good so far. In another good position. about 135 yards out. Small green here on hole 17. Pin tucked on the left. All good. With pitching wedge. This one's looking good, folks. Another solid approach. And about nine feet away here. A lot of right to lefters on the back nine for him today, and he's just, he's done well enough. He's done what he's needed to do. Let's see if he can convert this one for another birdie. Boom. In, in the heart for the birdie. And after that one, he's going to stay right where he was on the leaderboard. Just running away with it at this point. Tied for the lowest round on the day. Teeing it up here on the 18th. Coming home is a par five, reachable, slightly downwind, only playing 504 yards today. All good with driver. It's looking like it's heading into the fairway. Not the best strike, but should get away with it. Just rests in the fairway. And about 215 yards away. Pins right in the middle. All good. Playing the ball. Sitting well above his feet. Gonna have to take something off the hybrid here. And... Here we go. I think that's the hybrid. And that one He's has come off like you'd expect. Here. Right at the flag. Oh! Waves at it on the way by. Still a good shot. Okay, and hitting this par five in two is gonna set up some definite eagle possibilities. Got a double breaker here to close out the day with an eagle. No. 
Not high enough. Finish on the low side. Tap in birdie effort. This pot is for birdie. Oh, I thought that one was going to be in. <clears throat> well, okay. And tapping this one in to end the round with a par. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. And at the end of this third round, he winds up in first place. 11 shot lead. Luke, uh, not a bad place to be. Not at all. It's a borderline clinic we've seen by this player. What an advantage they've built up over the field. I'm expecting them to take it all the way to the house tomorrow. Well, on behalf of John, I'm Luke. Catch you again tomorrow. And on behalf of John and Luke, this is the Suburban Ginger signing off. Round three is in the books. Cold Allgood sits atop the leaderboard again. An 11-shot lead over Robbie Shelton of the United States. Only eight players under par. And as you can see, it looks like Cold Allgood's on a different level than the rest of these players. The experts expect him to win tomorrow. You guys will have to check back in soon to see how he fares in the final round of the East Coast Classic. But until then... We'll be seeing you soon. You guys know what to do. Leave your likes, subscribe to the channel, post the comments down below, and check back in very soon. But until we meet again, just keep swinging.